Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for coming by to check out today's review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my new hybrid smartwatch, the Fossil HR Collider. I'll start things off by saying I've never really been a big fan of the traditional smartwatch, and I've never really found them visually appealing. That's the main reason why I chose to come to Fossil and take out this little watch. After owning it for about a month, overall, I'm a huge fan. There's certainly some pros and cons to this watch, but in my opinion, the pros being the battery life on this watch is unreal. I use my watch pretty often in the run of a day and I have no problems getting the better part of two weeks out of a charge. When necessary, it's a super quick charge and generally I throw it on in the morning and it's good to go by the time I'm heading out the door. It has a really nice just snap on watch connection for the charging. And uh, like I said, normally within an hour, it is 100% charged. Another thing I really like about this watch is just the overall appearance and feel. From the analog face to the leather strap to the rubberized backing, I really feel like it's a high quality watch and it looks a lot nicer than your normal digital display on. This watch has more than just its looks going for it. It has a lot of smartwatch features without being big and bulky. Be it from your text to most notifications from your apps are now available to come through with no problems. The vibration that it offers is enough to alert you, but not so much as to annoy you. I really like that the watch has the ability to control your music, and it definitely is a functionality I use often. The only thing that I really found app-wise that doesn't work well is the weather. I often find that in the app, it just you need to go into the app and resync it fairly often for it to display properly. The watch itself is fairly customizable, from the apps that are displayed to the background images that you can put in. Although that I don't use a whole lot of it, it is sort of nice that you can have a very minimalistic type feel. As with anything, I have found some cons to this watch. The main ones are just some of the limitations in regards to the actual software in the watch. It'd be nice to be able to get a couple more apps involved into the watch. I feel like that is definitely one of the main limitations on this watch. Another limitation that I found with this watch is the fitness tracking. It is hit or miss at best. Sure, it tracks your steps, and from my experience, it's fairly accurate, but that's about the extent of the fitness tracking. I don't trust the sleep tracking at all, and all the other monitors are all right, but at the end of the day, they're more or less just a stopwatch. The final real con I had with this watch is the backlight. At night, it is impossible to see the face of your watch, and in order to activate the, the backlight, you're supposed to double tap the back screen. In this case, it turned on. I have found it to be hit or miss at best. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All in all, if you're looking for a solid watch that begins to bridge the gap between a traditional analog watch and a smart watch, I think this is a great option for you. It doesn't break the bank and offers most of the functionalities that most people need out of a smart watch. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this review, and if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Until next time.